Um, okay, well, Daryl, just the, the one game left to go. Do you, um, do you, do you get relieved? Are you, uh, are you needing a rest? How do you feel? If I'm honest, I think uh, the mental, men mentally, the slog over a course of a season, you, you sort of look forward to a break, but uh, you don't really get one. <laughs> you, you do, but you don't. You know, it's it's nice to come away from the mental pressure that I put myself under because I put myself under immense pressure before every game to win that game. So nobody can put me under any more pressure if that sounds daft, and I've always done that. So it's nice to come away from that, but then uh, you know, a few weeks and you're itching. That's it, though, isn't it? But I think at least a, a couple of weeks where you're not on that treadmill of preparing for a game, managing the players, all those kind of things. I know you've got other stuff to do, but it, it must be nice. Just to get yeah, it is, it's, it, and that's the, that. That for me is uh, what you enjoy about having a bit of a what I call a mentally a break away from the the competitiveness of the games and preparing for games. So uh, yeah, but we've got a job to do Saturday. We want to put in a a good performance against South End that they've obviously picked up since uh, Chris Powell's gone in. Mm. And the way that you've been, the way the seasons have gone since you've been here, there's never really been any time when, when your players have been allowed to coast. No, certainly not. And I don't think they're that group, to be honest with you. It's the last game of the season. That we, we know there's nothing to play for but pride and, and, and to try, try and win the game. And we, we want to try and finish with, with a win. And do you look at that table and think, right, OK, I, I could, we could win and move to this position? Is that still a motivating factor? Uh, no, not really. To be honest with you, I, I look at one or two different things. Potentially Saturday, you know, you're building, building for the future. Now that's the, that's the way I see it. But I want to win the game. Wh whatever team I pick out there, whatever squad that goes along, I want to I want to win the football match. That's for sure. And then we'll see where we finish at the end of the season. Because in terms of learning about some of the younger members of the squad and that development squad, we talked about the, the progression through, and, and you must have been encouraged with what you've seen so far. Certainly, and you know, certainly even even this week, we've had Lee Mansell and Tom bring up uh, five of the youth team players that have been rewarded to to train with the first team from from the, the youth team. So that's been an enjoyable experience for them. They've had, they've had three days with us this week. So uh, we, we, like I say, we want to be a football club that shows there's a pathway to the first team, and you can see. The amount of players actually in my first team that have come through the system and the ones that we've we've used this season as well. So uh, we want to we want to keep producing players, but like I've always said, you're not made until you've played 100 games, you know. And that's that's the way I look at it. And, and I'd imagine for those youngsters, so still away away from the first team, but that that's quite an experience for them to come and, and see what it would take to get to that next level. Yeah, certainly it's um, it's, a, it's a bit becomes a bit of a shock to the system at times because the intensity is a lot lot higher than what it is for the youth team. And uh, it takes them a while to get used to it, but then they fit in quite well. Nice lads, uh, good players, and rewarded of, of, of their season to be able to train with us. Yeah. Do you remember what it was like when you were first breaking into the I was the excellent. Team? I was excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was. I can't remember what age I made my debut. Actually, I was 17, 18. Yeah, so I was brilliant. Yeah, I trained with yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> I trained with the. Uh, I trained with the first team quite a bit, but it was only the three subs when I was playing. Yeah. God, I'm feeling my age. Yeah. At least you're older than yeah, me. That's true. Yeah, you're a lot older than me. So, but yeah, yeah. So uh, that was the squads were very much smaller then. Yeah. So uh, I was I was in and part of it. Very good. Um, you mentioned Southend, and, and they've they've found a little bit of form, haven't they, towards the end of the season? And Chris Powell seems to be doing a good job. They is, and, and, I, th and I, I genuinely believe, to be honest with you, I know the table, and you'll finish where you deserve to finish. But there's not a lot in the league. Uh, I think. Certain teams, unless you're your big guns in the league, you need a bit of fortune as well. You need a bit of fortune through the course of the season of a playing teams at the right time that maybe got three, four players injured, and, and the big teams don't don't feel that as much as the the other teams. And I think it's pretty pretty equal. I'd, I'd probably take out you know four, three, four maybe teams, but other than that, anybody could beat anybody on the day. And, and is it that? The big teams can afford the huge squads, and that's fine, and you understand that. Do you have a, a sense that you'd like a, a slightly larger squad, a slightly deeper squad? No, not no, not 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 deeper because uh, more numbers for me is, is numbers ain't ain't great. I think it's the quality of the quantity. I think that's that's the difference at times. Um, but we, like I say, we 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 have to go a different way about it. We try and produce our players. You see, I brought in the head of recruitment as well to to add value to the the structure that we're building in place and, and keep trying to trying to move it forward. Well, that brings me nicely on to, uh, to Tommy, somebody you know well from either playing alongside him and then you sort of uh, passed it to uh, Salisbury as well. Yeah, and, and it was important that I uh, that I got somebody in that knows me and knows how I work. You know, he's certainly my appointment, and uh, and I certainly Tommy knows what sort of players 
that tick the boxes for me and uh, certainly for me nowadays certainly now in, in football clubs you need a good head of recruitment and I think we've got one you know done, done a fantastic job at commentary but he's very experienced in that role as well he was managing at Eastbourne so uh, a decent uh, acquisition to the to the structure that we're building here. So are you envisaging him sort of getting out and looking at players or managing the people who do that? Well, he goes to loads and loads of games and uh, Certainly, will uh, with Will underneath Tommy. Tommy be, you know, amazing with Will to make sure that he's he's getting to plenty of games. I and mean, for me, this club's not had that that structure in place for years now, and it's a, it's a, it's another area that we massively needed to to improve on. And it's a, I think it's a it's a good positive move in the right direction. Yeah, and when you sort of consider what it was like from when you took over the, the structures, what happens behind the scenes, whether it's the sports science or the recruitment, all those kind of things. Do, we, do yeah, you see that I do because we have to find a different way, Ed. It's as simple as that. We can't go and players. Look, trust me, players cost a lot more than staff do. Yeah. So we have to go a way where we want to produce, you know, key recruitment areas to get the key players in, as the value that we can we can meet and then the structure with all the coaching staff behind that is to improve and to to work on the players that we've got at the football club and I think the record speaks for itself on, on all cases and, and, and that's for me is why I'll never never stop until we, we're trying to reach the heights of the top end of League One. So just the, the one last game and it, it's always a nice way to sign off isn't it? It leaves a good taste in the mouth if you can get that good result. It is, it, it does and uh, certainly we like, like I say every game we play to win.